first of all, nice to, to catch up with you again. We had that chat when you when you arrived. Of course, games have come thick and fast for you yeah. in the in the uh, early weeks. How do you think you've settled in? And how do you think it's going? Yeah, I say um, first few games like it was hard for me getting used to the league and stuff. But like the team has been great. They've been really supportive. They've helped me out, and now it's been it's been great being here since just playing week in week out. It's a new uh, adaptation, but I feel like I've settled in really well. You said it was difficult for you there when you first come. Was that just getting used to sort of the, the lads and, and, and when you were playing games, how they were, it, you know, the defending and, and organisation? Yeah, well, when you always go into like a new environment, it's always difficult um, meeting new players, learning who you're playing with and stuff. But no, as soon as soon as fifth game, sixth game, it's just like, yeah, okay, I'm settling in now. Um, but yeah, just the environment and getting used to people and what they want from me yeah, in game as, as well. But no, it's been good. When we spoke when you first arrived, we were saying about your first loan out of, out of your own club, your parent club in Arsenal, and that was a you know big decision you had to make. So how do you think that's you settled with that that type that side of it as well as well as the football side? No, it's been difficult. I've obviously I've moved from London now over to here. Uh, first loan, it's a new experience for me. Um, but no, I've been I've really enjoyed it. Um, I was excited prior to coming here, um, moving out and living on my own and stuff. No, but I've really enjoyed it. Um, the main thing you wanted to come and play is you've already said competitive football and a play where something really means something on a Saturday or a Tuesday night because you, you've had that sort of apprenticeship down at Arsenal to where you are, are today. Playing those competitive games, are they ex exactly as you'd expected? No, nah, to be honest, like much more pressure than I thought there would be uh, playing for points and stuff like this. but. You know, the, the, like I said, the players have really helped me, um, helped me to understand the game, game management, and the manager as well has been a big help. Um, and the goalie coach, just supporting me and stuff like this to get used to it as quick as possible. Uh, but yeah, they've been really helpful. So when you say that you've found there's been more pressure on than you expected, to us, you don't seem like that. You seem to like just mm. take it in your stride as though everything is nice and calm. But mm -hmm. I suppose inside you're, you're really built up, are you? Yeah, I, I try to stay relaxed um, because, you know, <laughs> if you look nervous, your defenders are also going to be nervous. So um, no, I try to stay relaxed and just to try and uh, keep my emotions within myself. Um, but yeah, it's, it is definitely nerve-wracking sometimes when you're playing in front of fans and stuff, which is a new experience for me. Um, but no, I've, re I've really enjoyed that. So talking about a new experience, so I would say that you've had some time with Arsenal, which is mm. fantastic, where you are in your career with them. But 16,500 at Valley Parade Bradford last weekend, of course. Yeah. What was that like for you? No, it was, it was top. I think it's the most I've ever played in front of. Um, new experience for me, playing in front of so many people. Um, no, but it was really fun. Um, it was quite a defensive performance from us, so there was a lot of pressure to keep the ball out and stuff like this. That was our game plan, especially in the second half, just make sure we come out with a draw um, and hopefully maybe get a winner. Uh, but no, it was, it was fun. It was very nerve-wracking at the beginning, but when you get into a game, it's like those nerves go and you just enjoy it. I think that's why we all play football, for that pressure. From, Away fans. A couple of clean sheets for you as well in your, in your early get, days of, of getting in as the, as the goalkeeper. As the, the main man, that is what you, you thrive off, isn't it? You thrive on that. Yeah, well, I think I can only do what I can do. Um, I think good performances will give you the clean sheet. Um, and that's my main focus, to try to perform well every game and try to be con as consistent as possible. Um, and hopefully that will come with me playing more. But yeah, keeping a clean sheet is always a good feeling. And just looking back on that result, they're one of the favourites to try and win League Two. They've got that fantastic crowd support behind them. What can a result like that do for you and your team? You know, you come away with it with a goal as draw and a hard point as well as you look forward to, to your next few games. Yeah, I think 
it was definitely a difficult game for us, being away from home. Um, we knew it was going to be a difficult game there, uh, but I think we've done really well to defend in the second half. And I think it can give us the confidence to go into the next game. Um, obviously, we had the week before Northampton, where we considered a last minute winner. So being able to then learn from our mistakes, defend that second half, I think it gives us loads of confidence into the next game. That's the one thing about it, isn't it? There's always something in a, in a game that you've already found out that you'll learn from. Yeah. But, you know, you've got to be able to take that forward. You're back in front of the home fans with Stevenage coming up yeah. next. And the start's been fairly good, hasn't it? Yeah, I think, I think it's one of the best starts we've had in, in, in years, what the manager told me. Um, so, yeah, again, that just gives us more confidence to go now this weekend and, and push again, try and get a win. Just looking at Arsenal's goalkeeping coaching and how it worked down there, to come into crew, who haven't got as many bodies probably as yeah. in the coaching department to, as Arsenal have, but what's been the significant difference that you've had to pick up here that you probably didn't do with Arsenal? I'd say like, even when I was in the academy in Arsenal, every different year is different. Um, I know that every different club has uh, a different way of doing things, but it's just adapting and getting used to it. Again, it's, a, it's all about training hard and playing well, so it doesn't matter what's around you, just you deal with what's given, you know? Well, there's no doubt about it. Uh, when it comes to the serious business, you'll be out there doing your training with the goalkeeping quartet of play people that are around and the goalkeeping coach. He's a bit of a Comedian, isn't he, Fred, as well? Right, you have yeah. to put up with that, do you? But is that a good part of it as well? A good part of the coaching that helps you along? No, Fred's been top. Um, he's a very good character. Um, he helps keep you positive and stuff. I think you guys will know more than me. Uh, <laughs> really funny every day. He has uh, good energy. And for a goalie, it's, it's amazing, you know, when you can train and also enjoy yourself. And I think he definitely gives me that. And you've been joined now by Dave Richards, of course, who yeah. is, is it the, you know, the, the more experienced of, of the goalkeepers that are here. Mm -hmm. But it's good to see him back, and I'm pretty sure you, your relationship is growing, is it? And he's been helping you? Yeah, Dave's been in the leagues for much longer than me. Um, he's been so helpful, giving me advice here and there, different teams, how they play. Um, but yeah, he's been top. Um, and I've, I've loved training with him the last couple of weeks. So a good competition for the number one slot it can only help the football club because you, you're like the outfield players, you're battling for, to stay in the team and that's one thing that uh, pushes you on really. Yeah, I think you always need someone pushing you to be better. I think when you don't have that, you can never really uh, play to your top, uh, top level. So it's good to have Dave here pushing me and hopefully I'm pushing him as well, you know, to also be uh, better as well.